Today on Knife Banner, we're sitting down and talking with the CEO of Boker Knives. Let's talk knives. How's it going guys and welcome to Knife Banner. Today we are talking about the top seven, seven-ish knives from Boker Knives. And uh, we have a special guest. This is Karsten, all the way from Boker, Germany, CEO of Boker. It's good to have yeah. you on. Thanks for being here. Good to have you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we we were talking earlier and we decided you were the first German knife guy we've had here at the table. Wow. So kind of exciting. Wow. Yeah, it's very exciting to be here. <laughs> right it's on. It's very exciting. <laughs> so we have a lot of awesome knives on the table, yeah. but sometimes the audience has questions on some of the different product lines that Boker mm -hmm. has. I think it gets a little confusing. So since we have the expert guys, <laughs> we're going to have the expert break down real quick, uh, starting kind of with your introductory product line yeah. and then through the other two. So where yeah. are we are going? Yeah. Well, the entry level is Magnum, mm -hmm. Magnum by Boker. Mm -hmm. um, basically, um, retail price 20 to 30 uh, Euro or US dollars here. Um, it, it's good knives, um, clearly made in China. No secret. We we are always very transparent uh, what we offer uh, to the customer and don't try to hide and and the country of origin. And no, it's clearly made in China. Um, you can buy different quality levels in China, mm -hmm. from really cheap until acceptable or re or even good. And Magnum is at the good level. You mentioned. You guys tune it. And as we go through the knives on the table, you guys are going to see it's surprising. Boker is a big company, a big international company. Um, but it's surprising. And this is what we found when we did the shop tour, yeah. how hands-on you guys are with so many of the products, right? Yeah. And and really tuning them and yeah. really making them worth people's time. So yeah. then for Magnum, then we go to Boker Plus. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. One one more sentence to, uh, oh. to Magnum. Um, on all Boker product, it doesn't matter what price point, is a lifetime guarantee. Yeah, that's a huge thing. Right? So for a $20 knife, yes. you're getting a lifetime guarantee on yes. the, for the warranty on it, which is... So yeah. contact um, Boker Germany in Europe, you contact Boker USA in North America, or Boker Abolito in South America. And um, if you have a problem with your knife, we take care of it. So Boker Plus, yes, is one step up. Step up. Um, it's a different um, country of origins. Um, um, it starts normally um, at, blade, at blade show, for example, or, or custom knife shows. We we uh, we travel every year to several custom knife shows worldwide, and pick up cool designs. We meet the custom knife makers, um, from the very famous guys down to the college kids who just get started. Where whenever we see an interesting design. Um, we pick it and um, sign a royalty agreement with a with a uh, with a designer that he can participate in our, on our serial production. So we make unique and oftentimes very expensive designs affordable to the to our customer. And then, uh, kind of that final product line yes. is is you mentioned Germany, and that's it's kind of the heart. Of, yes, that's of our the whole heart. Production, right? Right. Uh, and and um, again, congratulations to your great video. Um, well, thanks for having the, us. It well, was a blast. It, it was a blast. <laughs> it was just great. Um, that's our core. You know, um, we are around quite a bit, 150 years. Um, and, you know, we care for handmade knives, we have passion, and we have a long tradition. So if you've been wondering, there is a very comprehensive breakdown of kind of those three uh, product lines that Boker has to offer. And to kick things off, we've got a Boker Magnum on the table. Cool. So uh, this is one of the most popular Boker knives that we sell. So this is the uh, Boker Phalanx, this is the Boker Magnum Phalanx. It's got a 440A blade steel, G10 handle, stainless steel uh, bolsters, and then a almost tip down or almost uh, <laughs> deep carry with a uh, tip down pocket clip. Now, I have to ask, and I don't know if you know the answer to this, but since you're here, I'm gonna put you in the spot. Right. We recently did a banter that featured uh, best knives under $20. Right. And we noticed that a lot of inexpensive knives they they have a hole down here for you know hardware or for the lanyard, but they're all tip down carry. Do you know why? Do you happen to know why? No. No. Okay. <laughs> totally I'm fair. Honest. I'm but honest. but I but I had to ask since you I, were here. I, I, is that true? So yeah. below twenty bucks, no. Yeah, there was only out of we went through seventy pages of product, and we only found one knife that had a, a tip up pocket carry. So I was just wondering since you were here to ask, but. 
Not my I favorite, mean, this type of carry, but really good, really good little knife. And and you were mentioning earlier, just really nice, you know, robust liner, right? Right. Good action. And this knife goes for like 35, 36 bucks on the website. Um, you know, 448, it's a good serviceable steel. Yeah. And uh, easy to resharpen. Easy to resharpen. And this is a knife, like you said, lifetime warranty. So not only does it have a great construction, but if you were to hurt it, yeah. send it in, Yeah. you know? So exactly. really, really cool knife. Uh, and that's a Boker Magnum, <laughs> right. which would be the entry level for Boker. Yes. Um, so jumping into Boker Plus and kind of hitting the nail right on the head with where you're saying going to custom shows and talk, working with custom yeah. makers. Yeah. Uh, we've got the uh, Panchenko Lancer. Now this one is a Blade HQ exclusive. Um, and we do one or two exclusives with you guys. <laughs> Maybe three. <laughs> I'll say this. I'll say, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. If you guys want to get a really cool Boker knife, Blade HQ is the place to go because we have a lot of different patterns and exclusives. You do. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll work on yeah, some, yeah, yeah. some so, more. <laughs> so we have, we have these, yeah, they were just in like a four hour meeting planning out yeah. some new knives for 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, this one comes in copper. We've had it in brass. We've had it in a couple different uh, handle variations. The really cool um, kind of acid watch tumbled blade there. Yeah. Um, and then with the, uh, with just a, a single position uh, tip up carry. Um, really nice action. And the thing that I love about this, and this is indicative of a lot of what you guys do with these custom makers, you look at this knife and you're immediately like, that's a Panchenko. If you've yes. ever seen a Panchenko knife, you're like, this is a Panchenko. And this one, be, even being an exclusive with the, you know, with the more premium scales, this one's $89.95 and it's got a S35 VN blade on it. So 90 bucks. Here we go. You get an S35 VN blade, you get the copper handles and you get a Panchenko design. Right. Yeah. And, well, and the best proof um, that the designers are really happy with our serial-made uh, knives is that on blade shows and custom knife shows, um, oftentimes our serial-made knife is on their table to sell. Cool. Right? Yeah. So you can have the real deal, I mean, the, the custom mm -hmm. for close to a thousand bucks, but not everybody can afford or is willing to spend a thousand dollars. But if you want to have this design, the designer sells the Boker knife. Yeah. So, and that's a, a perfect proof that they are totally happy with uh, what we're doing. And, yep. um, yeah. Well, and especially with a designer like Serge, because Serge is, yeah. from what I know, yes. but I spent a little time with Serge, he's oh, yes. very particular. He is. So it, sa it says a lot. <laughs> uh, and, and speaking of that trust, yeah. so we have a couple different versions of the Lancer. So speaking of that trust, we have this, so actually I'll, I'll open it towards camera a little bit better, but so this is, the, it's a Lancer. It's a Lancer. But it's got a little bit of a story. So what's, what's kind of the story with this one? Yeah, the story is um, that we sell um, the original one mm -hmm. um, pretty well, but uh, we, we thought let's make it a little bit more, push it a little bit more into the gentleman's area. Let's mm -hmm. say the, the guys who, um, you know, the, the white color guys, um, bankers or, you know, insurance guys, um, real estate guys who wear suits and want to have sturdy knife, um, um, locking mechanism, um, you know, but don't feel bad to carry, to carry, um, for example, a Kalashnikov knife. Right. That, that, that <laughs> Which we're going to get to. Don't yes. worry. We can't talk about top seven <laughs> without talking about Kalashnikov. So we said, hey, um, let's uh, work on the design of search and uh, we hide the blade completely. Put a nice scale on it, um, zebra wood. Yep. Certified import, import very uh, important to say. Yeah. Right. We don't cut any exotic trees to build knives. It's all certified and. And that's a big deal because you guys yeah. work in a lot of really interesting and unique handle materials. Yes. Um, but you guys are always very careful. We're always to careful. make sure you're you're getting them the right way. Right. Yeah. So, um, so actually there is an in-house design that we presented back to search and said, Hey, are you okay with this? Um, yeah. right. And after some adjustments from his side, um, we, this came out. So cool. yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the lines on this are just so clean. Everything like you said, hidden, you've got the nail nick, so it is a two hand opener. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just, a, just a great knife. And when you say gentleman's knife, it is fairly light. Mm -hmm. Um, but it, it still is a frame lock knife. It's a frame lock. So you get a frame lock knife, you get yeah. the zebra wood, you get the D2 blade, and I think it goes, yeah, 60 bucks. So 60 bucks for all of that um, is pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah, really, really good deal. And again, the fact that Serge signed off on it. Yeah. <laughs> is, it really is, guys. He's a, he is an incredible designer, but he's a very particular man, which is a good yes. thing for yes. what he does. It's right. a good thing, you know. 
Uh, so yeah, so 60 bucks on the website for that. Great design uh, on the Lancer. So jumping into kind of another family yeah. of knives, uh, we have the uh, Boker Kansai. So yeah. the Kansai comes in the uh, VG10 blade. We've gotten a couple different variations right now. This is brass. We do have a copper and the micarta. This one's brand new. Mm -hmm. And if anybody who watches Knife Banner knows, I, I'm already gonna get one of these as soon as they become available. <laughs> Very beautiful knife. Yeah. Um, but yeah, great little, kind of in that same line. Gentleman's pocket carry, yeah. slim profile. Um, and the thing that I love about this is the blade is really slicey, really light, mm -hmm. but man, it just flies yeah. open. Like yeah. it is such a satisfying open and close knife. And that's a product segment um, we we are really established now um, in this very light um, light build knives, mm -hmm. um, easy to flip, very good quality on, on steel, um, perfect finish. Um, yeah, and you can you can wear it with your jeans. Yeah, you can take it to work, work but you can, you can have it in the office and nobody yeah. will freak out. Right? Exactly. So, um, <laughs> exactly. So uh, we're very successful with this type of knife. Yeah. And uh, just to gush just a little bit more over this micarta one, these liners and backspacer are just mm -hmm. beautiful with yeah. these, these little accents here. So um, both of those are Blade HQ exclusives. So yeah. a lot of Blade HQ exclusives on the table, not because we only carry them, but honestly, they're some of my favorite patterns. So that's- There's cool. a reason. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason we carry them. <laughs> right. Um, and you can pick those up on the website for right around 80 bucks. Always check the website for current pricing, but right around 80 bucks for those. And when you guys are watching this video, I think the micarta one will be live. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully. Check the website. <laughs> All right, so next up is an iconic design yeah. for, for Boker, but then also for Lucas Burnley, yes. who's, who's designed this. Yes. Is. So um, yeah, uh, this is, the uh... Quaken. <laughs> Booker Quaken. Oh, he's new to the business. I'm new to no the business. No problem. <laughs> Just flew right over my head. Right over my head. This is why we have the expert. This is why we have the expert. <laughs> this is the Boker Quaken. <laughs> this one is the full size Boker Quaken. And I was lost trying to remember the blade steel on this. And now I'm completely lost. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to reference it. This one is 154 cm because yeah. they do come in different blades. Yeah, so. <laughs> so this particular one is in 154 uh, 154 cm. Uh, you do have the the carbon fiber scales here, and then uh, tip up uh, single position tip up pocket carry. Um, so like I said, just a really iconic design. And you guys have been working with Burnley for a oh, while now. Oh, for a while with the Quakens. And Lucas is just a great guy. Um, it's always very productive if we have meetings. Um, we invited him for several shows to Germany. He's just such a nice guy and it's always fun to work with him that's always you know yes we want to make money and we want to sell knives of course but it's much more fun to to do business with nice guys it's with nice people it's so. like i say a lot if you want to buy a nice knife it's good to have a nice knife but it's always a cherry on top of the cake if yeah. the person you're buying it from yes. is a good person right yes. and exactly. the same goes with business yeah. um and that comes in a mini version as well this particular one is a g10 handle and i believe i have to check this is d2 blade see they change, the blade steels change. Yes. <laughs> so you can get that carbon fiber full size for uh, right around 170. Um, you can get this mini uh, G10 one for right around 180 on the website. And I personally like the minis a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Just me personally. Uh, my brother has a full size and he actually loves the full size yeah. as well. So mm -hmm. just depends on your hand size and what your carry preferences are. Um, and then finally, you were mentioning Boker Plus also in the USA. Yeah. And this is a Boker USA uh, made with Protec knives. Correct. Quaken Auto. Correct. Yeah. So um, perfect example. Um, yeah, it's it's just great to work in this industry. Um, you know, we know all each other. Um, there are no secrets. Um, we respect each other. Um, so it wasn't. I know Dave from Dave Wattenberg. Such a long time. Our dads did business. As I say, your parents were yes, friends, right? Yes, like you guys yes. would come and they we, would come. We know and, each yeah, other yeah. since <laughs> forever. When we, we grew up together, basically, you cool. know? Um, and um, so now he's running ProTech and I really like his product. He does a great job. And um, so that was a cool meeting, Blade Show, two years ago. Um, Lucas, Dave, myself, and, and Kurt from Boca USA. And uh, yeah, we say, hey, we have the Quaken, such a great knife. Let's do an auto. And it must be made in the US. Let's do that. And, yeah. um, Oh, well, and directly everybody was on fire. Yeah, no, it, it, and, it turned out great. And I know yeah. you guys love them because we sell a bunch of these. Yeah. Um, and this one's the mini. We do have a full-size version as well. Yeah. 
great Boker design quality, and then with that hard-hitting ProTech action. Yes. You gotta love it, you gotta love it. All right, so we've looked at some Magnums, we looked at some pluses, we're gonna look at a couple more pluses as well. Um, but now we've got the Boker Germany stuff, right? right? This is the Solingen specific stuff, right? Right. Um, and this one here, oh, and that you can get that auto for, oh, I misspoke earlier, guys. That Mini G10 goes for $123. I knew it. On the website. 180, I was thinking 180 was yeah, a little high. Yeah, it seemed a little high, it seemed a little high. <laughs> the auto is 180, I had my papers backwards. <laughs> You know, it's just been a little bit of a whirlwind around here lately. <laughs> so this one up, this is one of your guys' annual Damascus uh, right. knives, correct? This was the right. 2018 right. Uh, pattern that you guys had ran. And this is a Chad Nichols Damascus, is correct? correct? Um, and this is all handmade, like you were saying, this is that yeah. the heart of Boker, yeah. made in Solingen, correct. Uh, just beautiful piece of, yes. of And we were the first um, sporting knife or pocket knife company um, worldwide to bring Damascus blades cool. uh, to, to knives. Yeah, my dad did, did this with a German bladesmith in the 80s and um, they, uh, well, it was just a, a try, you know? Yeah. Let, let's give it a try. They, they loved the material um, and um, it's, yeah, it started in, in, in the early 80s. Um, and um, since then we do the Boker anniversary uh, every year, Boker Damascus Knife of the Year every year. Yeah. 999 pieces, limited worldwide. So we have a um, collector, you know, collector's uh, base who order basically blindly every year their number. Okay. So yeah. they get it shipped yeah, yeah. automatically and um, yeah. Cool. So it's a it's a big success, and but knife designs change, the blades must um, mm -hmm. change. Now we're very happy to team up with uh, Chad Nichols. He does a fantastic material. I mean, he's right now he is the name in the Damascus yeah. world, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, and again, a very nice guy. Yeah, right. Yeah. And not a he's the knife world is full yeah. of a lot of just yes. incredible people. Yes, it's true. Yeah. So it's just a pleasure to work with him. And um, yeah, um, this is really, this is handmade. This is tradition, passion, and handmade. Yeah. And it tells. Yeah. Um, and if you guys want to see how products like this are made, check out the video we did. We did a shop tour with Boker. And yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's a pretty, pretty awesome process in the tradition, but not being stuck in tradition. No. That's what I love about it. No. Is Boker Germany can produce this, right? Yeah. And, and keep that alive and, you know, have your apprentices come in in high school and work for you for 40 yeah. years and learn the craft. But then you can also make, you know, yeah. Boker auto quakens and you yes. can make Lancers and right. All and of so on. And exactly. So on. Right. Yeah. 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 No, this is great. Yeah. Um, and you guys, they also do some really fun stuff with Damascus in general. And we've talked about it a few times on the channel, but they, they make some Damascus out of uh, like tanks and yes. ships. And so get on the website and check out the, the awesome different yeah. Damascus patterns that they offer. Yeah. Um, but that uh, collector's knife goes for $281 on the website. It is the 2018 one. I think that's the last one we have. So if you're interested, maybe it's it there, maybe it's not. It surprises me that you still have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, <laughs> in, I think in Germany, they're gone. It's one Long of those time. things where it like <laughs> flew under the radar, I think. Yes. You know what I mean? Because yeah. all the other ones went fast. Yeah. So yeah, if you want it, <laughs> get it while you can. <laughs> um, and then this one, uh, just as a quick mention, because I know a handful of you guys out there have been asking since we went to Germany. Um, this is uh, part of your castle series. Correct. And what's kind of the story with the wood handle on this knife? A quick story uh, or long story short, um, in our neighborhood is the castle mm -hmm. for 800 years and um, nothing will last 800 years without uh, restorage and, and you know, remodeling. Also, I have this, it's just the neighborhood castle. No big deal. It's just, <laughs> don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. So just going over to the neighborhood castle. Everywhere in Germany. Wow. And, and then and it's, not, it's, it's not Disney, it's, it's yeah, the real, it's the real thing. <laughs> it's, it's very old, obviously. It's right? 800 yeah. years yeah, old. 800 so. years old, yeah. yeah. And um, well, it's a constant process, right, to, mm -hmm. um, to modernize um, uh, the, the, the castle. And every 100 years, they have to, um, to work on the, uh, on the wooden construction mm -hmm. of, the, of the roof and replace the, the oak planks. And so we were, as we have close connection to the to the castle management, um, they said, hey, we have this 100 year old oak planks. Uh, yeah. What do we do with it? <laughs> we would like to have it. <laughs> we have an idea. <laughs> we have an idea. <laughs> we have an idea. Let's make a series out of it, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, to, um, to, help, uh, to help the castle and um, yeah. And people love it. 
Yeah, no, right. it's it's really, really neat. So we actually had the opportunity to go to the castle when we were there in Germany. And it was really neat walking around. And and uh, when we were there, we were talking with the, one of the guys that helps with restorations and stuff yeah. there. And he said, basically, by the time, it's a huge complex. By the time they've started at one end of the complex and restored to one end, yeah. It's time to just start over yeah, again it, and and, right. and walk, walk through it again. So um, really, really neat knives. And, and you could uh, own a piece of the neighborhood castle. <laughs> One thing I would like to add, yeah. if you grab the other um, knife again, it's good that you have both. You see the emblems? Yeah. Right. Um, this is the old emblem. We, mm -hmm. we changed in 2020. We make an emblem change. We don't do that very often in 150 years, but... I think it's uh, it was time um, to change the emblems. And we go back to the old style of the 1950s, 1940s, 1950s. Um, and here you see the tree more clearly. It's, I think, um, it was a long process and we discussed it back and forth, but um, we ended up with this uh, new emblem and we really like it. And, and it tells, again, it's passion, it's tradition, and it's handmade. For sure. Yeah. Well, and you know, my two cents isn't worth much, but I personally, I I like this a little bit better. It's just a little more subtle for me. So it's a cool, yeah. cool change. Yeah. They're both great, but thanks. <laughs> thanks. And uh, so we we did something right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of right on the table personally. I own. I actually, except for that magnum, that first magnum we looked at, I actually own one of every knife on the table. Wow. So thank you. It's they're Thank they're you. good knives. <laughs> And you can pick up uh, this particular castle knife for right around 120 bucks on the website. There's a handful of them, so get on and they're, they're in a couple different price brackets. Um, and so next up, one of the best sellers is a Balisong trainer. Mm -hmm. um, so this is in the Boker Plus series. Yeah. And uh, yeah, G10 handles, you know, nice, nice balanced out blade. Great little knife. Yeah. Um, this is actually was my first uh, Balisong trainer. So my dad had an old, like a, like a 70s Benchmade before they were Benchmade knife. Wow. And uh, he didn't wow. know it was worth anything, and neither did I. So that's what I learned on, cutting my fingers a lot. Yeah. And then I started working at Blade HQ, and then we had these, and I was like, oh, this is much smarter. <laughs> <laughs> right. So <laughs> great, great little yeah. uh, great little trainer, even for guys like me that don't know what I'm doing. Uh, great little trainer. And the guys here that do flip a lot, yeah. every one of them has one of these as well for just training. And Thanks. Yeah, yeah. checking things out. So so cool little trainer from Boker. Uh, it goes for 56 bucks on the website. So if you're interested in battle songs at all, it's a great way to get into it. Um, and then next up... We can't talk best bokers without talking these two knives, these two iconic knives. So we have the Boker Strike. You guys already know the story. This one, this particular one has a D2 blade, so it goes for about $49.95 on the website. Um, and we were talking a little bit before, you know, with the deep carry pocket clip, uh, two-way reversible. And we were talking a bit before, this was an in-house design. Yeah. That kind of came about because of the success of the Kalashnikov. Correct. And you guys just wanted to make something that was very similar, just a different alternative. Yeah. Um, and for me, this one always feels a little more tactical. That's true. The Kalashnikov feels just like a fun, good knife. Mm -hmm. And this one feels like oh, it's more of a work knife, right? Totally um, correct. Yeah. So the Strike, you guys know it. <laughs> it's a <Yeah>. great knife. <laughs> yeah. And then just to show you guys the top two selling Kalashnikovs on the website, they are Blade HQ exclusives. Uh, we have the Desert Warrior Kalashnikov, of course. And we have the Black Widow, of course, uh, on the website. Now, the Kalashnikov has an interesting story. <laughs> So, Mikhail Kalashnikov is a name. It's a person's name. Oh, yeah. He's designed the Kalashnikov yes. gun. Um, one of the most widely used in multiple militaries around the world. Yes. And uh, so, obviously, it's a person's name. So, to use that type of name, you have to get permission. And uh, Carson has a pretty interesting story about, let's see, is it, riding, horses, riding horses in the streets yeah, right. in Russia, firing <laughs> off automatic guns with Mikhail Kalashnikov himself. Yes, I did. Uh, parting with Russian generals yes, on I a did. train. And drink too much vodka. And drinking too much vodka. <laughs> so here's the thing, guys. This is, we, we've covered a lot here. We don't have time to tell you this whole story because yeah. it's epic. If it's you want to know this story, let us know. We're going to get it from him. We're going to record it. And if you guys want it, we will find out a way to bring it out and, and give it to you guys. Because... It's a lot of fun. It's like a movie. And it is right. full on like, it's like a movie. Yes. <laughs> and and if it all started 2002. Yeah. And um, we sold quite a few knives. Since, yeah. We've, since so, we've sold one or two of those <laughs> yes. as well. I, one, one or two of you guys might own one of these. You might have seen them before. So anyways, uh, a lot of great knives on the table. Um, like I said, I literally own, I mean, obviously the Boker Germany, I don't own these exact ones, but I do have one of the ones that we did yeah. exclusives. Yeah. I have one of those. And I literally own... Almost every, one of every one of these knives, and I can personally vouch for them. They're just great knives. And I don't have to say that because you're here. I say it all the no, time when you're not I'm... here. So, <laughs> <laughs> all 
All right, um, let us know down in the comments, guys, what your favorite uh, Boker knife is, what you have, what you're carrying. Um, and then you have, you said you had some something you wanted to show us. Yeah. What do you got? Well, I want, I, I brought, normally I would like you to, to ask, what knife do you carry? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, usually we do that at the trade shows. Yeah. What, knife, what knife do you carry? Okay, I here we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I figured he flew from Germany. He probably didn't right. have a knife. I carry two knives. Okay, these are uh, these are big knives. knives. <laughs> First one is for you. One is for Jamie. Okay, Jamie's behind the camera. Jamie's There's behind the cameras. Knows. Yeah. <laughs> and we want to say thank you. Oh, okay. Well. For being in Germany, and um, I see I'm maybe two or three weeks late. You oh yeah, your yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did shave a little while ago. <laughs> but we thought um, maybe the Blade HQ uh, crowd doesn't know, but uh, Boker is also uh, deep in the straight razor business. Yeah, and we are very serious. In the shop tour, we didn't have enough time to show you guys, but some of the most incredible straight razors I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, um, we are now at the top position in the, in the straight cool. razor business. Right um, so, um, so I thought that it's a cool product. Yeah. I don't want you. I don't want to give you the the tenth Kalashnikov uh, knife right. <laughs> for your collection. That doesn't make sense. And this is something you could grab out of your shelf. Yeah. We want to do something special. So, so um, I thought about it, and um, we have Whoa. this. We have the starting kit here. Yeah. Um, you know, we have the soap, a leather strobe, a brush, and this uh, metal thing to hang the uh, brush and and the knife. But we also have a special knife for you. That's it. May, may I? Yeah, yeah, of course. This, this Please is, open it. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. The inside of this box is very impressive, guys. We'll probably get some B shots for you. <laughs> so you guys can see how cool it really is. That is really cool. All right, let's get this out here. You guys have to see how beautiful this is. That patterns I've never seen that on yeah. a straight edge before. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is really and cool. Take a look at the backside of the blade, please. <laughs> oh man, that's a big deal. Uh, so there you go, you guys. Uh, thank you for the best Boker video in 345 years. <laughs> that's very kind. Well, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. You're very welcome. And same, oh, man, same. Jamie. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow, you're it's welcome. It's just beautiful. Yeah, it's just a pleasure to work with you. That's great. So my whole life, I've shaved with a straight reg razor my grandfather gave me. That was my, wow. yeah, that's how I learned how to shave, was cool. with the straight edge. And I've shaved my whole life with that. So now I get to try something else out. <laughs> and you have the starting kit. <laughs> yeah, I have this whole starting kit. And, I'll, and I'm not gonna lie, my grandpa's an old cowboy. And the way he taught me to strop my knife was on the back of my belt. So I've never had a proper wow. strop. So wow. this is pretty exciting. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set yeah. this to the side very carefully. <laughs> and maybe we open here for Jamie. It's a different knife. So oh yeah, let's show that off. Yeah. Jamie, so I'm gonna open your knife. Is that okay? Yeah, I suppose I can't really do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with being like locked behind the camera sometimes. <laughs> but we'll show it off here. Yeah. I'm excited to see my knife from back here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh yeah. I thought it's pretty cool as oh, well. That's amazing. Yeah. Yes, the inlay it's there. Of pearl. Yeah. Jamie, what do you think? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> He's probably excited to get his hands on it. So we'll end this here in just a second. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All well, right. Thank you so much. Well, you're that's very just welcome. wonderful. That's just wonderful. Cool. All right. Well, shoot. That's. I wish I had something for no, you. No, no, no. That's fine. <laughs> that's wonderful. Fine. Well, a lot of fun on Knife Banner today. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll have to put these in the test and tell you guys how, uh, how well they do the job. Because I saw them cool. testing them and uh, they're, uh, they're pretty serious. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so let us know down in the comments what your guys' favorite broker is. Make sure to hit subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for well, coming on and these again. wonderful gifts. Thank and, you. are uh, welcome. Yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. But wait! All right, so obviously guys, we can't do a best Boker knife video and not have the best Boker knife on the table, <laughs> the Boker Mermaid. That's right, guys. So uh, when we were in Germany recently, you took us to the river where you yeah. guys fish the mermaids out. We do. We'll flash the picture on screen right here, right now. So you guys can see that's me and Jamie. Ob obviously very authentic, very real picture of us fishing in Germany. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so 
You guys may not know, but when we went to Germany, it was my first time meeting Karsten, and uh, and and he told me he's like, I love what you guys do with the mermaid. <laughs> of course. And the mermaid was his idea. <laughs> it he's, was. He was yes. picking out knives. This is the Magnum line, so he was picking out knives yeah. in the Magnum line, and he saw this, and you said everybody pushed back. Oh, they yelled at me. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. How can you do it? I mean, they will laugh at us. They will kick our ass. No. Nope. Get out of here. And I said, No, I like it. I want it. <laughs> So you guys, here's the thing. For the most incredible grail knife you can get, this is the man. This is the man to thank right here. You got the full the full 411. <laughs> thank you for bringing this wow, into our lives. You're very welcome. It's it it changes lives. It really yeah. does. <laughs> Mine as well. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and uh these may or may not be on the website. They sell out fast. We try to keep them in stock. Uh maybe we'll go to Germany and, and do a little more fishing for you yeah. guys and, and pull some out. But we do. Thanks. Thanks. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> oh, how's it going? If you want more awesome knife content, hit subscribe over here. Uh, check out the website for all these sweet Boker things. And if you haven't seen the Boker shop tour yet, it's down there in the corner. Check it out.